Hey guys, and welcome to number 42 of the Derby Caribbean Live in Star Wars episode. We're in the quarterfinals of the Europa League against Schalke, obviously the former club of Goretzka, who we got for an absolute bargain. I think it was at the start of this season. That just shows how much has happened this season, because I feel like Goretzka's been at the club for so long, and um, he's not really when you think about it. So let's go into the game. It is away from home, which is kind of good to start off, because then that means you can come back to your place if you've got an away goal. That'll be all good. Obviously, I don't know if what Jürgen can actually play or not. We'll have to have a quick look and see. Yeah, he can actually play. So, I don't know if I want to start him there. That's the thing. He's got the injury, like, plaster thing showing that he's injured. Um, maybe if we start with Ings. But the problem is you don't really get a good performance from Ings when you do start with him. But I think it's worth the risk because I want to get Jürgensen involved at some point in this game. That'll be quite good. I might rest... Mm, no, it's, it's not anything major, but we're going to rest Goretzka just till the second half because I think um, he might be a bit emotional against his former club and stuff like that and he's a bit low on fitness and I like to keep my players nice and high. So looking at the uh, remaining teams left, we've got Lazio, Moscow, Gladbach, Sporting Lisbon and Olympiacos and Manchester United. So I could see United in the final, but I'm not too sure if they will come up against us in the semi-final, I'll have to see of course. So... They have actually got a really nice team, um, Schalke, obviously Jerome Boateng and um, Howard Ayres. There's obviously a lot of money in that club. There's a lot of good youngsters as well. So many good players that go over like the 85 rated in that club and it's a really good one for career mode. Into the lineups we go, obviously farming in goal for Schalke today, Ushida, Cruz. Um, I think that was actually a Gladbach player before, um, Hoga and Ayugo, the uh, CDMs are quite good, and Kevin Prince Boateng actually playing the deepest of the three, even though I'd see him as a bit of a further forward player. But here's our lineup for today's game Silicon in goal, Ings, Bakir, and um, Inspear adding the attacks, Soka, Yukan, Hughes. We've got uh, Goretzka on the bench against his former club. I think I'll bring him on in the second half. He, he can bring a bit more physicality in that midfield, and um, that's what you need towards the end of the game because that's where it gets really brutal and, um, in the action. There we go, Danny Ings. I don't know how he's done that, but he's somehow just worked himself into the box. Maybe Farman or Farman, whoever, whatever his name is, the goalkeeper. He could have done a bit better there. I think um, the Sillison would have made that save, and I'd say Sillison's probably lower rated. But yeah, it was a good way to get a goal, and that away goal is so vital because obviously that means basically two goals. And it's nice to see Danny Ings just coming back from his injury. We decided to start him. A bit of a risky move, but he's got a nice goal for himself there. Like... The keeper should be really definitely saving that at the near post, but um, I'm not going to complain. Come on, Sissoko, power yourself into this defence. There we go. He is a ridiculously good player. I definitely would suggest him on any career mode. I really liked his ultimate team card. Not this year, because I think it's a right mid, and that's a real shame. Because I don't feel he's like used that well there. But in the middle, he is ridiculously good, and... Um, I don't, know, I don't know, he scored three goals in the Euro League. He scored at least three in the Prem because I remember he scored a hat-trick in either the last episode or the episode before that. And um, he's just a machine. He just does everything. Same with Aurier. He's like a centre-mid version of Aurier and I really like him. Oh, come on, you can. Ooh, we got a third. And that is like... I don't know. I don't know what's happened to Schalke. I thought they'd be... Really difficult to get a goal against, and um, like I saw that 5 3 2, and I was thinking, How am I going to score? And um, I've scored three goals, and it's been one of the easiest games I've ever played on career mode. And I don't know what it is, I don't know what it is about this Schalke team, but they don't seem to be doing that well. Farming in goal has been absolutely dreadful. We're going to make some substitutions now, I think. We're going to take off Yukan for Goretzka, and um, I don't really want to play like big players, so I'm going to play Wyman for yeah Ince because he's been quite good on that right hand side, and we're going to put on Taliso I think for Hughes. That should do it nicely. Danny Ings on side here. I'm not too sure. I'm going to try and cheeky chip it. Cheeky chip gone in. We're basically through to the semi final. I'm just going to say it now. I don't see um, Schalke scoring five. Yeah, five. They have to score five goals um, now in the second leg unless they get a goal now. But then they're still going to have to score basically five because the amount of away goals I've got. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how this first leg's gone. I don't know 
if it's because of my formation, how it just counteracts against theirs. Obviously, they've got three in midfield. We've got three in midfield. And um, then we've got more going forwards than them. Going into the added time now, maybe Schalke can get a last-minute consolation goal. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to play like quite a weak team for the uh, second leg. Cause, oh, they have actually got a goal. Fair play. I think that's Draxler as well. Come off the bench, got them a goal, and um, it could be quite an important one. You never know. It's actually Hoga, the CDM, who's actually quite good. He's about 77 rated, I think, and... Um, I don't know, like, apart from that, they've not really had a single attack, and we might score straight away from kickoff. Fakir just working the magic. Oh, he's at the post. How annoying is that? But that's the full time whistle there. 4 1. I'm more than happy with that. A three goal advantage on the away front. Um, yeah, I'm more than happy with that. I don't see them scoring three goals at our place. And yeah, looking at the other results, Lazio. Sporting and United currently in the driving seat, but it can all change in the second leg, of course, with uh, the different results. So obviously at the start of the season, we did sell Johnny Russell for 12.5 million. Now you look at his um, value now, it's only at 3.4. So I might be tempted to bring him back. You never know, because he is a fantastic player. I really do like him in real life as well. Another player I looked at is Bojan. Um, he was actually suggested in one of the videos, unfortunately. I think he actually moved in the January transfer window to Lazio for 12 million, which is actually a decent price. Um, when you look at some of them stats, obviously four star skills as well. And um, yeah, it's a little bit of a shame. Obviously, we've got Condogbia coming to us at the end of the season, who's currently a 76 rated CDM. And um, yeah, I think the other players that are coming on at the end of the season, they're currently not scouted. So going into the game, it is at home against Liverpool, which is a tough game because they are in the top seven at the moment. And it's really weird some teams like Aston Villa are up there for some reason, but it does happen in real life. So I want to see like a really, I don't know, amateur Liverpool team. I don't want to see anything really too tough. There's Pjanic, Sturridge, um, Moreno. I think that's Markovic as well in the lineup. Sacco, Skirtle. Here we go, Danny Ings. Come on, son. Against you former club in a way you know what I mean but um, it, it's a ridiculous thing on this game where you do a slide tackle shot it goes in so many times it's stupid they need to fix that for FIFA 16 because it's really frustrating because there is no possible way of stopping that kind of shot and um, yeah against his former club kind of you know what I mean like he's, he's playing there at the moment but he's actually at Derby eight goals this season he was out injured for two months and um, I did really miss him. He, he, he does do a really nice job of just coming off the bench and getting a goal. That is what he does. There we go. The full-time whistle. Great three points against Liverpool. Not the most entertaining of games. Like we only had one shot on target and scored it, which was kind of lucky. And um, it, it was a good three points. And that's all I really can say about that game. So we're about to go into the second leg of the Europa League game against uh, Schalke. But I think I'm just going to simulate it because... This episode's been about 55 minutes already, and um, yeah, I feel the first leg had so much action. I don't think we really need to play the second leg, so we're just going to simulate it. I'm pretty sure Schalke won't score three slash four goals, and um, yeah, hopefully it does it. It's taken a while to do it. We haven't actually simmed the game, actually, um, since like pre-season, so maybe it's not ready for it. But hopefully we don't um, lose like 4-0, because that would be a real shame. We're going into the 5th, 10th, Goretzka with a goal against his former club. That means Schalke need a lot of goals now. They've actually replied with one there in the 18th minute. And um, about to go into the second half. They've got quite a few bookings already. Papa Dupolos coming on for Haldes from the injury. Hughes coming on for Goretzka. 65th minute now. Wyman coming on for Ince. Fakir making it 2-1. We're basically through. And um, they've had a player sent off, which isn't the best. Who I think is actually a, c a central defensive mid. And that... It's full time. That means we go through to the next round. Fantastic. No clear injuries or um, any suspensions, so that's good to see. So let's have a look on the table. Um, we're currently nine points off Chelsea, but we have got a game in hand, so that's basically six um, if we win it, of course. Looking at the Europa League eventually when we get there, it, it, I don't understand why it takes so long. So we've got Sporting Lisbon in the next round. They beat Gladbach 3 1 on aggregate. United beat um, Olympiacos 6-1 on aggregate. Technically, we could have done a lot better because we did sim the game, but 6-2 is still quite nice. So potentially, we've got Lazio or Manchester United if we beat Sporting Lisbon. So 
I think we've had a really good episode and um, I like to keep them short. I don't want to make it massively long and uh, there was no real necessary thing to play that uh, second leg in the Europa League. So if you did enjoy this episode, it would be fantastic. If we could smash over 25 likes, I'm probably actually in France while um, this video is uploaded. So yeah, a nice bit of support would be cool to see when I do get back from France. So smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't shown and see you soon. Bye.